it can take a lot of work from the dementia resident's perspective to convince dementia unit staff that they can still think and understand. And most don't even try. They'd rather have a cup of tea, sit in the sun and read a magazine. But some do try and they work very hard at it. But the one demonstrable activity that does prove that dementia residents can think and can understand is reading. You cannot read unless you understand. You cannot read accurately unless you understand and can think it all through. So the dementia residents where I worked, they loved reading the subtitles of the Netflix television, karaoke, The Crown, David Attenborough, whatever. So they'd stand right up, and they'd read the subtitles out loud to everyone. So it was clear they were thinking clearly, understanding and reading. So it's a very good exercise for demonstrating the fact that people with dementia can understand and think. But of course they need the reading material. They need to have the subtitles put up on the smart TV so indeed they can read it. They need to have the magazines come in so that the Women's Weekly, Women's Day, so they can read them. And they need the newspaper for those that have read the newspaper. And it needs to be literature or reading material that they have read before. It's not going to be if a woman has always enjoyed reading Women's Weekly, for example, but not the newspaper, and she's given a newspaper but not the magazine, she won't really be interested in that. They'll be interested in what it is that they've read long term prior. So that's the information that needs to be fed in, the, the literature, the reading material. And so that's why there needs to be a variety. I mean, not everyone wants to read the newspaper and certainly men don't want to read women's magazines. So there needs to be a big variety of reading material and a range so that for those that have difficulty reading, then photograph books, you know, with lovely big titles and beautiful photos that they recognise of here in New Zealand, of course, fabulous photograph books of the Southern Alps and the Fjordland and, you know, the mountains and the beaches. I mean, we've got lovely scenery. So beautiful books on New Zealand scenery are always a winner because New Zealanders travel a lot and all these dementia residents have, they know all the sites. So when they see it in a book, it brings back, especially big, lovely, big photographs, clear and bright. It brings back those happy past memories of holidays that they've experienced. So there's always something, like with farmers, tractors, trains, yachts for men, classic cars, they love classic cars. The photo, they'll sit around a table. That's one of the few times actually that you'll get dementia resident men to sit around a table if they've got a book with classic cars. <laughs> that was the one uh, activity I found that they used to engage with, with each other. It's difficult to get them talk, engaging with each other. But classic cars, men love cars it seems, and they'd sit around and talk about that uh, for a reasonable length of time. So, and maybe racehorses, so cars and racehorses. So it's just to think about establishing a library at a dementia unit, bringing in the material. Certainly it doesn't have to be brand new you know, garage sales, moving house, cleaning out. There's always books and magazines around that you can bring in a whole box full, leave it at the unit, and then it can be free for all in a sense. I mean, they don't, they're not easy on books and dementia units because some of the less able dementia residents are rough on them, ripping them up and such like. So you have to, especially the women's magazines because they're light, thin paper, but a good photographic book they don't tend to touch, but certainly the women's magazines can have a bit of a rough time so that's why you need a good supply so that it's plenty available for the residents so cognition and understanding you know it is there it can be facilitated dementia residents can be educated they know that they can think they know that they can understand but they need to be educated to be able to just like school isn't it being educated you need to have you know, training and teaching and reading and upskilling to be able to keep the cognition going, especially because they have to work so hard to work around recent memory loss and also compensate for all the problems of direction orientation confusion 
and the memory blanks they get from now, now and then. So they're having to cope with a lot of different things. So they need encouragement, they need books, they need literature, they need all these things I've talked about. In the Residence Voice, Residence Rise, on Amazon, everything in the description below. Thank you for your viewing. Please subscribe. Thumbs up. Thank you.